What's up, world? You are welcome to Next Telly. We are still in the month of October where we are reading beautiful, inspiring stories of things happening here in Nigeria. The month of October, I'm considering Nigerian week because, Nigerian month, sorry, because the 1st of October is Nigerian Independence Day. So the whole of October, we are spending time to read as many books as possible about hope and inspiration here in Nigeria. And today, I am reading a beautiful book which says, Who Says You Can't? This book is the bomb. Honestly, I bought this book just because I saw the pack and I thought it was really nice. Like, I just thought, okay, this is a very... And I liked the title. I think the title just felt like, you know, it was daring me. Who says me I can't? I'm like, who, 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 you know? And so I got the book and then I pick up the book and I realized that it's by Frank Neji, who I didn't know who he was at first until I found out that he's the um, founder of ABC Transport. ABC Transport is a, is a huge company here in Nigeria. It's very big because um, it came up with a, a niche when it comes to traveling by bus all over Nigeria and then even went on to travel to move to road transport from the west coast of Nigeria. So they would go to Bene, they would go to Togo, they would go to um, Ghana and they would even go to Cordova or Ivory Coast. So anyway, if this is your first time, I am Nez. Welcome to Nestelli. Thank you so much for coming by. If this is your first time, please subscribe and join the the family every monday and friday we have new content here where we talk about a new book and we can decide whether we should go on and read the book or not so please thanks for joining the family <laughs> please subscribe okay so of course subscribe as mm -mm, much love as possible so guys today this book eh, some people are just see this book see this book you know when i say I, i've said it a lot of times that a lot of us assume that things don't work because we're in nigeria we're like in nigeria this doesn't work but it's like i keep telling myself that i know that people that are doing well in this country this man is to me it's like he has given me reason to even believe more of what i'm saying or believing more on why, why i should do things for this country or in this country rather so this man okay so let me just start, start by giving a general overview of um frank neji frank neji was somebody that believed a lot in um, he's someone that believes a lot in making money in general. He was, from when he was way younger, he was always trying to, because he, in his exploration phase, he was always finding a way to multiply things, random stuff, whatever. He was trying, like, very interesting stories in there, talking about the ways he tries to do things to, he tried to do things to multiply money and all that. And that I found very interesting. Um, I like how aware he is as a person. But I think most people that have a lot of money, people that, people that do well in life, you can tell, most of them they talk about themselves, you can tell that they're very aware of who they are. It's not they are not the, it's not a thing of oh this now happened to me it's not one random thing that happened to them they are very aware of the things that they do so um generally he's someone that believed a lot in making money so he started a company uh, called is it rapido ventures uh in a um, where he was trying to provide things like stationaries and boards and even down to projectors and pro projectors all over schools in nigeria and he 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 hit a bit of a a hard curve on that it wasn't quite working out well as well as he wanted but before he stopped or before he frustrated himself or what, before he got frustrated in that business he has started this abc transportation there's so much to learn from this from this um from this book um if you're in if you're nigerian i'm pretty sure you know abc and what they stand for like you know what they are me i personally remember being on abc for the first time maybe in 2000 or so i had to travel with my older sister i couldn't travel it alone and I just remember that the reason why I, had, I was asked to buy that ticket was that when you buy that ticket, it's like you're flying. It wasn't like regular entering bus. Before then, coming to Lagos was something I never wanted to do. I only went to public transport. Like, I would go go drive with somebody from Enugu, where I grew up, to Lagos. I wouldn't take public transport. So the first time I ever took public transport would be ABC. But that was, they told me that it's just like you're flying. So this man was somebody that he saw a problem in the travel industry at the point. That's road transport industry, especially long, um, luxurious bus, what we call the luxurious bus then. Um, a lot of times people weren't treated very well. And he decided to match the idea of the way people travel by air. People got tickets instead of these random small receipts that people used to get. And then they were treated better. The attendants and the drivers dressed in a uniform instead of the regular guys. And then the whole picking people on the road that basically they just supposed like because you don't know who you're getting. Those things uh, were removed. So I really like I really liked reading this book. This book just gave me like, it's almost like I went to business school just by reading this book. You get, I really think anybody that wants to do anything that concerns making things better here, self, let me start with self, you know should read this book so i have two points i want to talk about it is two points today guys because if i decide to do five points this video is going to last one hour i said it please. so number one is where he talked about the importance of knowing self or being sure of who you are um nigeria is one of those places that um a lot of times you're tempted a lot, sorry, a lot of people that want to collect money from you for not doing anything or for doing their jobs or doing absolutely nothing and he talked about the importance of being sure of who you are and the way you run as a person is how you should run forever 
that is who you should be. It shouldn't be a thing of like, you know, it depends on. So like when you get to, let's say, federal level, then someone will not tell you, okay, give me 2% of business, 2%. They, they are doing their job, they're getting paid. But they want because they are doing their job. If you now say no, they will frustrate it and stop you from getting it. And they do it with their chest. They know nothing will happen. Do you understand? So it's like you have to understand that your integrity should not be toyed with. People, you should get to a point where, from afar, people should know that this particular person, this person will not agree. You get, so you, your integrity should not be toyed with. He told an interesting story about when he was a child, when he was five years old. I'm going to, this was, this I found very funny. Uh, when he was five years old, um, a clock, there was a clock that used to stay on the father's table, a table clock, and he took it, went outside and buried it. And started watering it, because he believed that if he grew it, they would have several other clocks in the house. <laughs> Anyway, of course, a few days after the, the siblings were his siblings were suspecting him because he was pouring water on the on the clock on the on the floor in a particular place. And I went to dig out and see what he, he had planted there. He was five years old and they saw the clock. The clock, of course, it was bad, ruined by both soil and water, and you know, that one ended. But it talks about it talks a lot about who he was as a person, what how he knew he was good in business. And he believes that it's not everybody that's meant for business, but that people that are meant for business have no business being in places where they are not supposed to be. Do you understand? If you're made to be an entrepreneur, please strive and become an entrepreneur. Bringing me to number two. Number two is adding value. This adding value, uh, this one has children and great, great, great child, grandchildren. He said, first of all, understand that money is overrated. Do you understand? Your ideas are more important than the money you're going to make from the idea. Now, don't, don't, that, don't, make, don't get it mixed up. Money is going to come. Money should be part of the business. If there's no money in the business, business folds and gets frustrated. So understand that the money is there, but understand that if you see a customer, if you're a businesswoman and you look at a customer and all you can see, all you're, all you're thinking of is how you can get money from the person, then you're getting it all wrong. Think of ideas, how to add, add value to people. So when he started the ABC company, he, 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 had, he had gone on a trip. I think he had gone to travel to a weary or something like that. And the boss was really bad. He took it, one of these popular... Um, bus companies and the bus was so bad as in the, the ride was bad from the beginning the experience was horrible and he was like that you know he saw there he saw women with children he saw people that you know well-meaning citizens being treated anyhow and he didn't like it on top of all that this bus broke down the bus broke down as they, were, they spent hours on the road and he was like people should not be treated this way and that was, that's how he started doing his assignment that's another thing he has to talk about the importance of doing your assignments go do your research before you start a business find out what others are doing they find out how you do your own differently i think he explained the way niche is niche is something that i think confused me for the longest time but anyway back to the conversation so he decided to start this business which was doing a, a very comfortable and safe trip for people and everybody knew them for that you understand because he said even down to the people that he employed people that he employed as conducted weren't like the illiterates or people that had no let's say home training do you understand they had to be trained he, he as a, to a point where even lawyers became what they call the conductors lawyers people that went to school study five years in law do you understand? Some have been called to bad. They come and they become what they call the conductors. But they don't call them conductors in ABC. They call them attendants. Do you understand? Because you're not, your job is not just to make sure that the bus is safe or is full and everybody's sitting comfortably. You're supposed to serve them food. So things like even giving them food came into play. So a lot of buses that we enter now, they do all these things. Just understand that ABC started this. Because he's talking about, he started doing this thing in 2000 and, sorry, 1992. I entered in 1999 for the first time or 2000 there about. And I was a kid then, or I was younger because I had somebody that had to uh, go with me. I couldn't go alone. Do you understand? So the value, that's the one portion of the value. One portion of the value is the value for the people that you're, you're that's the customers. The value for the workers. He talked about the importance of understand that favor. Do you understand? Understand that your relationships is what makes your business. If you're somebody that somebody annoys you, you vex and you're no more doing. You're not ready for business. You have to be able to have good Relation, uh, relations, what is it, human, what is it, human resources, when you have relationships with your, with your staff. I think right now the ABC staff is about 150, no, 1,500 people. Do you understand? And he talks about the, down every staff, every staff member knows that if they want to, if they want to talk to him, he's not hard to find, as long as he's around. If he comes to your station and you want to talk to him, you can go and meet with him. He will not create any red tape and tell you, meet somebody, meet somebody, write letter, write letter, then five months later you come and see me. Do you understand? He wants them to understand that all of us are together. He said, down to his salary, everybody knows what he earns. That is not a hidden thing. That there was a time that there was a problem with the, with the business that he told them, okay, so we have an option. And that he's very open about the way he runs his business. They have an option. They either do something else or they take a salary cut. The staff said they didn't take salary cuts. So that the business, because they've, they've, they've invested themselves into the business. I don't know if you understand. And you know, I could tell that from the beginning of the book. Because from the very first page, his acknowledgements, in addition to dedicating to his wife, he dedicated to the first set of drivers. He said, Peter, Lucky, Peter, Lucky, Isaac, Felix, 
um, Christopher and Hisense, who despite doubts about the, pros the prospects of the new style of road transport industry in Nigeria stuck with the establishment ABC Transport. So he knows their name. Once I saw that one, I was like, this man clearly is somebody that does not play with his staff. So that's another set of value. Then he talked about what he called about the value chain. He said that just because your, your, your business may be doing well now, does not mean that that is all your business can do. Think about the value chain. There's a, there's a long line of other things involved in that business. I don't know how to explain it. I'll try and see if I can find a picture of it and put it so you can understand. He explained that you're doing a, a, a business as, okay, he was a, a road transporter. He was doing it within Nigeria. He was doing well. Then he realized that there was a Korea. That's Korea is like, Korea is what me I used to tomorrow. I use ABC Korea to tomorrow. Anywhere. I use it. Do you understand? The Korea business became important because he found out that a lot of people were asking drivers, please now help me take this to Asaba. Okay, don't worry. Somebody will call you. So he started turning into a business. And he got insured. But that's why I like ABC. They will insure. So if anything happens to you, something happens to the boss, if the boss gets robbed or it catches fire, you will get money back for your, for your item. As long as you have that receipt and the way bill number that they asked you for. Do you understand? So um, the Korea part is a, is a value chain. Then he started doing tours. He started doing a cross West Africa. When he started realizing that he traveled to West Africa by road one time and he realized that. So he said, okay, let him do that. In place of doing that, he started having meetings with people with ECOWAS. He started meeting with people that were talking about trading. With, I don't know if you understand. So it's like, if you can understand, if you can look at, you can, if you can broaden your view in whatever business that you're doing that is successful, you can go further. The guy is sitting down with the UN and having conversations about, uh, sorry, he's sitting down with um, ECOWAS uh, meetings, conferences, and having conversations about how to make the trade between the West African coasts to be, to be, to be fluid. He's still having, he had um, some partners in Ghana who, um, when the ABC, when the boss gets there, they can pick some people up, those that are interested, and they will talk, they will do a two-day tour, this is three-day tour, this is a one-week tour around, the, around uh, Ghana. Honestly, this man is like he thinks he thinks very extraordinarily, and he's some that some because he talked about it. It's some that you almost don't believe exists here in Nigeria because everybody is not like you know we're just like trying to make money, blah blah blah. But the thing is that for you to last, that's what this man is saying. You have to look beyond the money side. Money is overrated. Money is he says that money is part of the product from doing the business. Then after that one, said that's the West African coast one. We started working. Instead realizing that they were they were having problems bringing in parts into Nigeria. You know, talking about uh, the the bus you know and all that so he decided that uh, he should start assembling bus parts in nigeria and he started working with anamco then anamco at that time was shut down so he started the, he started the company with the help of some other company guys this man is something else this book i think that anybody within 18 and 20 and 45 should read this book i say it because a lot of us may not really know what we're meant to be because we've been made to believe a certain way i'm not saying that i'm not saying that everybody else cannot read it everybody can but i'm saying that if you're 18 years old Buy this. Do you understand? If you're thinking of a Christmas gift for your parent, your niece or sister, buy this book and give it to them. This book costs three thousand two hundred at Roving Heights, and I think it's also available on. It's also available. I need to check. I'll write it down in the description box. I think it's also available on Amazon. Do you understand? Who says you can't? This man is like when I say business. See, I have three colors finished on this thing. This book is wonderful. It's totally worth the read. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know be, uh, under the, in the comments whatever issues that you've had with um, road with um, road transport number one. Then with being an entrepreneur here in Nigeria, if you had any encounter with the government workers or with the social civil service workers that have that have frustrated an idea that you had, let me hear it below. And then if you've read this book or you know anything about this month or you've had any experience with this particular company, leave the comment below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and. Um, Leave a comment below, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. Bye-bye.